Right, we got Junior Taylor here. Sherwood High School here in Oregon, right, Junior? Yeah. All right, you are a D1 All-American. You were a D1 All-American yeah. for the uh, University of Oklahoma Sooners. Uh -huh. Sooners. Boomer. Yeah, Boomer Sooner. All right. Um, you guys are actually heading out to uh, Fargo here. How many guys from Sherwood are on the team? Uh, three. Uh, two in the cadets and one in the, in the juniors. Okay. Out here in Oregon, you got, it's a vast area. Okay. It's not concentrated at all. Up in Portland, maybe a little bit. But do you think that uh, the big distance, you know, it's a huge state. Do you think that that affects the amount of kids you get on the team here? Mm, no, I don't really think so. I think the kids that are dedicated and uh, really want to uh, seek uh, Olympic gold medals and NC2A championships are uh, willing to make the, the drive to do what they got to do to better themselves, to, to, uh, to accomplish their goals. I think this is, a, this is a sport that where you actually have to drive and look for someone to better you. Okay, you can, It's not really something you can do by yourself. You have to have someone that mentor you, basically, coach you along. Well, yeah, and and, and, and workout partners. Yeah. I think I think you need you need you need someone there to, to train with you. Okay, you guys have a pretty good staff here. Okay, it's not like uh, some other states have. They kind of almost have almost too many staff members. Okay, you guys are kind of a smaller staff. Do you think that uh, when you guys get out to Fargo, does, do things get crazy, and does the smaller staff hurt you sometimes? No, I think we got we have the kids split up enough that where each of us are, are looking at six to seven kids to kind of uh, work with and, 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 and trail at the tournament. And uh, I think our, our biggest thing is we're, we're working with some real responsible kids. Uh, and the kids have built a tremendous uh, camaraderie ship and uh, a bond between themselves and the coaching staff, which is the purpose of the camp here. And so I, I don't think that the, that, that hurts our staff at all. What do you think you bring to the staff? Obviously, you're a Division One All American. You know wrestling. You know how to wrestle. What do you bring to the staff, and what do you have to offer? I think I think I um, um, the technique speaks for itself, but I think I um, really bring the mental aspect of, of preparation and 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 the focus and uh, and the ability to stay in the match at all at all times, and just uh, uh, and then the familiarization. Of being in big tournaments and, and, and winning big tournaments. You know something about that. Yeah, yeah, Talk exactly. about your background in freestyle and Greco Roman. Mm, I won my first world championship in Greco Roman in 1981 in Colorado Springs. And, uh, and then I uh, won my first world championships in, uh, in Stockholm, Sweden in, in 79. And um, those are like cadet you know, yeah, world those titles. are cadets and junior and, and, and junior world championships, and um, and then winning, uh, then actually winning the the this tournament that we're going out to itself. This tournament used to be at uh, Cedar Falls, Cedar, no, Cedar Rapids. At, no, it used to be in Iowa City. Oh, really? It used to be in Iowa City at the University of Iowa when it was 100 degrees <laughs> outside and probably 110 inside, and where and and it wasn't cadets or uh, or juniors, it was just it was just a high school tournament, and you'd have 200 kids in your in your bracket, and you'd wrestle 25 times. How much do you think the tournament has evolved from the days in Iowa City when you're winning titles, winning double titles? How much has it evolved from then to now? I think it's come a long ways. Uh, I think the sport wrestling has changed and and, and has came a long ways. Uh, the facilities are definitely uh, definitely better, nice air conditioned building, and um, I think. What has been really nice, the change that I have liked to see, is that where each state is represented now, and it gives each state the kids from all over the state to build camaraderie ship with other members of their states, and then they go and represent their state, and then they go and build camaraderie ship with other team members and trading singlets and pins and hats and ideas and. Um, and I think that's where it's going to really pay off is for as these kids get to develop relationships, they kind of uh, become familiar with one another and then Bond. eventually. It, it, yeah.
Things and like and 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 eventually, you know, uh, make the Olympic team and, and represents the United States. All right. And, uh, you got anything else for me, Junior? No, everything everything's good. Everything's all good. Uh I call. Uh, they they wrote down William on the paper. What, what's what's William your real name? What, you told me to call you Junior. Is what? Are you a junior? Yeah, I'm a junior. I'm named after my dad. Okay, yes. so the he's William. You're junior. Uh, yeah, I'm junior. Yeah. He's all right. William, yeah. All right, junior. Thank you for the time, man. And look, and I'm going to get some lunch. Yeah, me too. <laughs>